Okay, you guys, me and Cello and Dan, who is behind Cello, are gonna make some pesto from Dan's recipe today. Um, we got a beautiful bunch of basil that we wanna use, and um, you know, I really had a taste for it. It's a great, great thing to keep some pesto sauce like on hold in the refrigerator um, in the summertime. So, um, I'm gonna have to move Cello so you can see Dan. But for all intents and purposes, Dan is the head chef here and Cello is the sous chef, even though she's about to be banished. So watch, I can make Dan appear just like this. Here he is, Cello, you stay there. Okay, so Dan, what ingredients do we need? Basil? No. Olive oil. Hot peppers. Okay, pine nuts. Okay, well, dial face. These are the. So we're ready to get started. Dan's got the blender. He's in charge of that. So he's going to tell me what to put in the blender as we go. So Dan, what do you want to put in there first? Basil. Okay. So we got some beautiful basil at uh, Springdale Farms this week. Really nice. Okay, so put them in the blender there. Feel like that's enough? No? More? Okie doke. Smells amazing. The whole kitchen smells great now. How's that? You don't have much more. Do you want me to put it all in there? It's, it's the main point. Got it. Okay, those are those are uh, messed up leaves. Okay. So the basil is in. Now what's next? Oil, peppers, nuts, nuts. Okay, so we got these pine nuts also at Springdale Farm. Sorry, Dan. Okay, now how much? All of it? Okay, all right. right on top. Okay. Dan doesn't measure. I should have started the video with that. There's no measuring here, no duplicating. This is Dan going on right here. Okay, what do you want to put in there next? Oil? You got it. What did I do that? Okay, there was kind of a, an oil problem still an oil problem. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We solved our oil problem, more or less. There was kind of a lid problem that we fixed by brute force. All right. Yeah, watch what I'm putting in, tell me. Should I put in more? More. You got it. More? Still more? How's that? Well, got about a third of the bottle in there, bud. Okay. Still more? Or do you feel like that's enough? This is how much we've used on the um, 
container. No, 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 Cello, no helping here. Sous chef stays in the background this time. More? Okay. How's that? You're good. Down around half. More? We're not measuring here. This is living on the razor's edge pesto. Wow. Okay. Over half, about two thirds now. Done? You done now? Okay, good, that was really scary. All right, now what next? Uh, Hot peppers? Okay. Now, I don't know how to... Okay, you wanna watch what I'm putting in and kinda of judge? We don't want too much of this in here. How's that? Is that good? More? Dan, I won't be able to eat it. A little more? Yeah, put hot, hot peppers, whatever, in almost everything. More? Dan, I'm not gonna be able to eat it, huh? That's plenty, okay? Uh, no? Still more. All right, that's it, right? Okay, that's that's finally it. All right, and the last ingredient? Cheese. Okay, so that's, this is where that container is. It's up to about here. What do you think? Are you saying more? How's that? More cheese? All of the cheese. You're telling me to dump the whole cheese thing in there. All right. All right. That's all cheese, my friend. Okay, that much is left. Is that okay? We're going to need a little extra cheese to sprinkle on top. Isn't that culinary of me? All right. Are we ready to blend? Yeah. Okay, this is what it looks like, you guys. So, my best advice is don't try this at home. There's a lot of pepper in this, seriously. Okay. Now, we have a, a real no-frills blender, although we, we like it. It just has high or low. So, should I do high or low? I should do high. High. Stop. Do I stir the stuff around in there? No? Okay. Should I hit? Could we do low for a while? High is very scary. Okay, well, he's right as usual. Looks like my stuff. Can we just let it? No? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we doing the right thing here? Did I forget something? No? Okay, Dan. <laughs> that is the scariest smile I've ever seen. Are you worried about something? Are you worried about the blender? Yes or no to, are you worried about the blender? You're worried about the blender, okay. Am I doing it wrong? All right, let's follow through and see what happens, okay? No? Should I stop now? Okay, so I should push the button. I'm pushing the button, okay? <laughs> this is the scariest smile I've ever seen. All right, here we go. Should I do it on high for a while? No. I should keep it on low? Yeah. All right, this is nerve-wracking. Should I stir it around? But Dan, it's not doing anything. Okay. With that kind of an implement? All right. 
Well, there's some pesto in here. There's no doubt about that. Looks pretty good. <coughs> and smells better, actually. Like that. Should I do low now or high? Low? You got it. Smells good. There's still a couple big leaves in there. Should I push them down? Yeah, I think we officially have pesto going on right here. see this it looks amazing Fancy. there we go <laughs> put some taste. in a little container so we can get a close look and then we'll taste it you probably think you could stand up in it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. worried about all those peppers we put in this thing, actually. You need that donut thing. Yeah. No, it's really good. And it does have a little kick, but it's not that bad. You were right about the peppers. You want to taste some? You don't? No, the cook's got to taste his own stuff. How's that? Now, Dan is, is something um, that's abbreviated NPO, and it means he can't um, take any food or anything by mouth and he has a feeding tube, but he is still a great type taste tester. What do you think? Is it wrong or is it good? Hot? It tastes great, I think. I like it. Okay, that's pesto, you guys. Thank you very much for watching our video. We will see you on the next one. If you like this kind of a cooking video and want to see more, please push the thumbs up button. Um, and we would love it if you would subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you soon, Dan. A real smile this time. There, there he is. That's what he really looks like. Thanks, guys.